Hi everyone! It's October! It's Arttober! It's Inktober! It's doing artsy stuff for the month of October and, and I'm really excited about the project I've decided to do this year. We adopted this lovely long boy four weeks ago and he's the whole reason that I really wanted to do this project. So I am gonna draw greyhounds every day and the lovely New Zealand greyhound community has shared their lovely photos of their hounds doing what they do best, hounding around their homes. But for this amazing breed, it's only a few that actually get to do that. There are seven countries in this world that still has a greyhound industry and that is including New Zealand. Unluckily for the dogs, they are a commodity in an industry that doesn't care. Running for their lives, staying in kennels up to 23 hours a day, seeing nothing of the outside world, risking losing their lives if injured or if they're just not good enough anymore. And all of that is happening for human entertainment and gambling money. And of the few survivors, rescuers, adoptees, fosters are left to pick up the pieces of these dogs behaviors anxiety and health due to the lack of care in the industry it makes me sad it makes me frustrated it makes me angry that this lovely amazing beautiful creature has to go through this they deserve so much more basically they deserve the same as any other dog breed on this planet so this is where this project originated from. This is the first year I'm doing all 31 days. So we'll see how I get on. I've prepped. Hopefully I've given myself enough time to be able to do this every single day. I'm doing ink and watercolor this year. And um, I don't know, I don't think I have any more to say. So I don't know why I keep dragging it out. Let's just do this. This is day one. So I got my watercolors out. I got two different palettes that I use. I got my, look at this cutest thing. I'll put the link in the bio for the Etsy store because I don't, can't remember her name right now. So she made me this and it's for water. And then actually I got a little pencil holder too. How cute is that? And I got a folder here on my computer with all my references. So they are ready to go and I can open up and have a look and this is our own boy and this is gonna be day number one. From day five I was just about to sit down and then the snow came back I'm not sure because my windows are pretty fogged up right now I'll open this um, yeah this is really annoying because you're know, like come on it's spring by now oh well I'll uh, get another blanket and uh, get cracking
finished it Ta -da. and congratulations to everyone else who's doing a challenge this month and has completed or even just gone for it and tried there's always next year there's always next month but I finished and this is the first time I've finished all 31 days in the actual month of October so I'm very excited this is the flip through let's have a look at it etch your sketchbook I really love it. It's a hot press, which is the first time I've used hot press, and I am in love with it. I, I got the three different sizes, um, and I used the A5 for this one. Yeah, no, I really, really enjoyed the paper. So I'm not sure if I, I need to put some color on this page. I might have to. But for now, this is what the front page looks like. So here we got day one and day two. And in the beginning I was a little, I couldn't figure out if I wanted to, you know, ink all of it. But in the end I decided to only ink the dogs and then leave the the background just with the rough pencil sketch and then with the uh, paint on it, obviously. And I got a, a little Alfie that is looking at himself in the mirror. I thought this image was so cute that I couldn't just not do it. And here I made a mistake, obviously. I had decided not to ink the background, only the dogs. And then, you know, I went into inking mode and I inked the pillow. But I mean, it doesn't worry me too much. Um, I still quite like this one, it's really cute. Got a little birthday party going on, getting doggy, doggy cake. <laughs> um, I really appreciated everyone sending in their photos. I had a lot to choose from and I feel like I got a good variety. So they're different, both different colored dogs, but also different scenarios. Really like this horsey as well. Got another little cuddle greyhound here. I mean, their paws are just extraordinary. And a little adventure pup. This is very full. Like, even the photo had, like, super full vibes for me. So I really like this one. Which, I know, I'm in New Zealand now. And I say fall, and it's not at spring for us. But yeah, October for me is still, like, a cooler month. So I'll, I might change when I get to stay here for a little bit longer. We got two floating heads here. I really, like, I've, I've actually really enjoyed doing these. These are kind of cute, and I feel like they would be, like, cool stickers and stuff like that. So I might do more like that. It would be kind of cute to do, or, like, a poster with, like, a few different ones. There we go. Really hope that you guys enjoy. I really enjoyed making these. Um, some days it was a bit of a struggle where I was like, I don't feel like it. But you know, as soon as you sit down and get stuff done, you 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 get motivated when it's something you you really like doing. And obviously, because we adopted two months ago, um, I, I love greyhounds. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm still very much set, obsessed with them. So. We got a little snoot that's been in a um, fireplace bucket. What are they called? Uh, like an ash bucket. <laughs> and I thought that was really cute too. They got the cutest puppy eyes on that one too. I really, really liked making this one. Like I rarely actually do humans because it, or people. Um, because it's scary and it's always like, oh, you have to get the features right because otherwise it doesn't look like the person. Um, babies, I feel like, are a little bit easier because they they do have features, obviously, but they're not as, like, caricature as a grown human being. So I really enjoyed this photo. It's just the cutest. And here we got a little greyhound that wants to get some bread off the table. I think this one turned out really cute, too. Here we got a dirt face, snuggle up, a really, like the, the texture on the brindle, 
um, coats are so hard to do, but I make this one I'm really, really happy with, and some of the other ones I'm happy with too, but I feel like I, I kind of found the, the way to do it on this one. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And we got a out of the back window of the car. A little kitchen action, a little caterpillar. This is like a full on greyhound community thing. I feel like most greyhound owners has one of these massive caterpillars too. Um, we don't have one yet. It, it might happen, but they're also really hard to come by. <laughs> This one we already got, so he got a clamshell out of the yard. <laughs> so I feel like this one was super cute as well. Love being in the water. It was really hard. I really wanted to get that that like texture of her lying in the water, and I'm not quite sure if I managed to do so. Um, but it was it was fun to do, and, and I'm not yeah, I'm not I'm I'm really happy with because I like the expression on it, and that just says everything. But yeah, I'm not sure if I fully like got the underwater vibe. I really fell down my chair laughing of this one when that one came in as a reference and I was like, I need to do this one. That is the cutest thing ever. And we got a little digger over here. And another little cuddle pub chilling on the floor. We got some outdoor images. So I really enjoyed making this one because I feel like the leaves and stuff were just beautiful. They had like this like beautiful color, which I think I somehow captured in this one. Um, and it really fit with like like the color of the dog as well. So it's really cool. This is actually so they're behind glass so the trees and stuff are like the reflection in the glass and i'm not quite sure i got that in the actual like painting i don't think you kind of catch that but i really do enjoy how it turned out and i like the texture of the dogs because these guys are white with brindle and white with black and yeah it was it was hard to do but you know you just have to try and see how it goes and with watercolor it's really unforgiving so you just have to go for it. Hey, we got little snoozies on the couches. I really like this one too. And I actually find the cat turned out really well as well. Really cute. And the last photo is our parmy and with this color and just like ending it on a note where it's like your home bud kind of thing. Um, so yeah, he was my last one for this month and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and following the steps of this. Um, I found it a little hard to do all the videoing for this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!